Hey you guys, this is Tom from Tom's Interesting Talk and today, or I should say tonight, we're going to be feeding. I'm going to be feeding the 155 gallon tank, just a standard flake and a little bit of freeze dried brine shrimp. Alright, you guys check it out man. Watch the little guys consume. They do get quite vicious. This flake that I'm feeding them, it's just an insect larva flake and then a little freeze dried brine shrimp. They love it. They usually get two or three feedings like this a week. And then I have another smaller pellet that I feed them. And then they get a couple frozen brine shrimp and bloodworm meals as well. Some more fresh stuff. So I try to give them a good rounded diet. Um, I'm, I feed once a day, usually in the evenings like this. And that's just how I do it. Um, I've just never found the use to feed multiple times a day. It doesn't seem like the fish are any happier or anything like that. Um, and I've been fish keeping for a long, long time. Once a day is usually sufficient. As long as your fish are consuming most of the food that you put in the tank within five minutes or so, you're not overfeeding. I am working on this tank and increasing the cardinal tetras in this tank the number of cardinal tetras that is and I also want to increase the number of guppies that are in this tank currently I'd love to have large vibrant schools of colorful guppies and beautiful cardinal tetras I think in one of my up and coming segments I'm going to demonstrate breeding cardinal tetras we're going to give it a try um, I've never personally done it, but I think most, like any, like any science project or any potential scientific experiment you're going to do, um, you have to meet the parameters. And as long as you know the parameters, water temperature, water softness, water pH, you know, the very basics, then you can create the correct environment. Um, for the cardinal tetras to spawn in. Uh, darkness, calmness, whatever they need, you can create the correct parameters for them to breed in. So I'm pretty confident in being able to manufacture the environment that I need to make them happy and breed. Um, that's what we do when we're creating these little micro environments. These, I mean, you're basically creating mother nature, nature inside a tank. Um, it's biological, it's chemical, it's a lot of different things. And I like to try to create as natural of a environment as I possibly can. Sponge, air heat and water and light you got to have light that helps kick off the photosynthesis and starts the biological process that's about it and 
feed the fish. That's all you need to do. Everything else kickstarts itself. The biological process, the bacteria process, ammonia, nitrites, nitrates. It all works itself out biologically. It's a very neat system and I think I can create a correct environment for breeding cardinal tetras. So we'll see, but that'll be in the near future. It's not like I'm brand new at breeding. In the past I have spent some time breeding angelfish, growing brine shrimp. So I am pretty decent, I think, with the environments and the kind of food and the things that I'm going to need to create to breed cardinal tetras. I'm pretty confident in being able to do it and show it and teach it uh, because of my past knowledge. So it's kind of a new little adventure in breeding. You know, it's a different sort of breeding. You know, where they're not live bears, they're egg layers, or egg spreaders, I should say. Um, you know, angelfish are more of egg layers where they'll lay eggs, you know, in a very specific spot. So, I think we can get her done. Um, it should be fun. It'll be fun to watch. It'll be fun to watch if I fail. So, we'll see. You know, we'll have a good time going through the journey together um, and see what we can see and learn things and have a good time doing it. Hey you guys, thanks for sitting and watching my fish have their evening meal. If you would, please give me a like. Give me a subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe or like. I'd very much so appreciate that. We're on our way to 200 subscribers and would love to continue that climb. I would love to sit here and continue to talk about my fish tank and these environments that I've created for you. So please give us a like and subscribe. Thank you, as always. I appreciate you.